All right, man. So it looks like Quando Rondo is still going through it over the morning and the death of his day one homie, Lil Pop. And we all know what happened. We all know Lil Pop and Quando Rondo were the target of a shooting in Hollywood. And his and Quando's friend Pop didn't make it. We had to watch Quando Rondo mourn publicly. They made fun of him. They ridiculed him. The people uh, made fun of him. They say they want him to die. It's, it's, I'm sure he's going through it. And today he gave us a little glimpse and he actually um, denounced his gang ties. So let's give a read to this post that he put up. He put, fuck everybody. I mean that shit. I fuck with a select few. My circle's super tight. I fuck with Lil D, Trench, Los, Serio, Big Dude, and Lil Tum. It's too much going on. Yo, many fingers pointing to many people talking about a... Talking to them behind my back. I got too much weight standing on all 10. Y'all forgive me for the reading. He's not the best typer. I love Pop like as fuck, but I'm not going to the to Cuz funeral. I know where me and Cuz stand at. Fuck how everybody how anybody feel. Keep that shit to yourself. Nobody know what the hell I'm going through. I watch my homie die. I want to see a lot of y'all wake up and keep a level head. After that, I'm focusing on myself and my little girl. That's who I'm living for. All the time, all the times I missed with her. On top of all of this, I'm not in a relationship. I'm not tied to no girl. Me and her have a mutual understanding. I'm not. I'm solo rocking, and I mean that. Shit, fuck you and whoever feel. Hit my bag up. I don't need no band, handout. D O E, whatever that means. Let's go to the next one. I'm not jump out gang either. Ain't no loyalty in this shit. I'm my own man. I laid my flag down. I'm not neighborhood. Y'all ain't gonna ride for a nigga. For real, I'm not. And when he says neighborhood, he's saying neighborhood crip. For a nigga, for real, it's no sense of me being a part of y'all shit. Y'all fuck with the opposition. I don't give a fuck who feel hit. Fuck you. And if you can't feel where I'm coming from on this, you bitch ass nigga. Because it don't take rocket science to see what the fuck going on. Everybody already hate me. I ain't tripping the extra hate. I'm about to focus on my family and the ones who gonna really drop a tear if I die. All right, that was a lot to unpack. I think one of the most interesting parts on here where he said, I'm not neighborhood no more. Y'all ain't gonna ride for a nigga. Y'all, he said, being a part of y'all shit, y'all fuck with the opposition. Now, I'm not here to start no rumors, but I'm just looking at the speculations, right? Now, I'm not assuming that he's talking about the neighborhood Crips in Georgia because you see he's still riding with some of the neighborhood Crips that he put up there. He's saying people's names was affiliated with the same shit as him, right? Lil' Tim, all that. So I'm assuming maybe, this is just my theory, he could be talking about the neighborhood Crips in California, right? And that's because there's rumors that, you know, well, it's not even a rumor. We know Brick Baby has a great relationship with the oppositions and who was his ops little dirt otf now he's saying y'all fuck with the opposition so he's laying down his flag now let me say this first and foremost i'm proud of what quando rondo is doing i'm glad that he's starting to see that this shit ain't worth it as a young man who's still um living his life he's seen a lot in the last year and a half two years and he didn't really ask for this but it is i must say it is a part of what it is when you become a crip when you become a gangbanger when you decide to be in the streets right so i am while i am glad for him and i do applaud him for deciding to take such a stance i still think that this could just bring him even more problems that's just me now, I would hope that Quando Rondo is learning how to move. He's he hasn't been moving great all the time. I think that he's learned to just lay low at this point. We don't know what the future beholds, but you gotta move militant at all times. For him denouncing his flag, let me say this. This is exactly why the California gang 
original gang members, the original uh, sets. This is why they don't respect banging outside of California like that or outside of the West Coast like that because there is no structure. And I can tell you this as a nigga that's from the Atlanta area, Quanda, this is what niggas do all the time in Georgia, right? And I don't mean that to disrespect anybody's set. And I'm not saying that nobody's set is fake because my whole thing is even the niggas from California, y'all can call niggas from other cities sets fake, but are y'all willing to go to these niggas uh, area of town and say that? Are y'all willing to denounce they gangs and tell them that they gangs ain't that? Most of the time you're not. That's why your politics is your politics and their politics is their politics. But I will say the structure, there is no, like in Georgia, I can only speak for Georgia and I ain't saying this is for every hood, but I know in a lot of places, um, the structure like isn't there. You can literally just quit when you want to because it ain't a situation where the next block is this or I got to speak to this homie. Like a lot of people ain't really that tied in as much as they think they are. You know, they ain't took the pilgrimage to California to make they shit official. All of that. It's just a nigga saying, hey, we crip niggas throwing on blue flags. We crip or we blood. We Piru. That's how I go in a lot of these places. But I'm not saying that's what happened with Quando Rondo. He may have really talked to some people or, you know, maybe jumped out or whatever, paid his way out. I don't know. Or he may just be saying, fuck it. I'm denouncing it. But that's why I'm saying that this could bring more problems while I'm proud of what he did. It could bring more problems because you denouncing the gang. A lot of the people not going to accept that, especially if you was a cash cow for them or if you furthered the gang. But I think this is the best time to get out of gang banging people, especially as a rapper. Rapping in street life don't mix. And he's starting to see that as somebody who's actually going through something. See, a lot of these rappers is gang banging and they ain't seen shit. And Quando Rondo may have been that, but I can tell you that Quando Rondo was active for real because I seen Quando Rondo at the AEBL. That's the professional Atlanta basketball league over here. I seen him cripping there, fighting and shit. It's online. You can go look at that. That's that was a couple years ago before this shit all happened. So I know that he believed in all of his hearts that this crip shit was real life. So for him to lay down his flag meant a lot. So all I'm saying is. I'm going to pray that Quando Rondo that you can be with your daughter, that you don't run into any more drama, because I know when you lay down your flag, people ain't going to accept that. And your, your ties, you're denouncing, you're denouncing people that you were supposed to be running with because you're saying they fucking with the ops. That can literally now, you ain't getting back though now. Now it's fuck you openly. You might have just created more beef. But I don't see Quando Rondo, if he is talking about the California factions, the gangs, I don't see him going to California anytime soon. I don't really see him hanging out in Atlanta no time soon. I don't really see him hanging out in Savannah no time soon. My suggestion would be focus on your life, take a break, go where you need to go, where you could, you know, if you need to go to the country and just be free, you know, away from all this bullshit, do that. Get your mental your mental clarity right. A lot of people online calling him names, you know, fans that never had nothing to do with gang banging, talking about he making himself look bad. Uh, clearly, this man doesn't care about y'all opinions because a lot of these fans will tell you to go do something or tell you not to do something, and they've never in life seen some of the things Quando Rondo did. Quando Rondo came up, he grew up in jail, in juvie. He dropped out of school in the sixth grade. He's really been through some shit. So y'all can say what y'all want to say. But at the end of the day, he is who he is. If he want to let this shit go, he going to let it go. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. Do y'all think Quando Rondo can lay down his flag? Is that going to cause him more problems? Y'all let me know. Bop. I'm Daddy Channel. <laughs> I'm Daddy Channel.